we landed on the 5% distinction because we think that's an attainable distinction. Um, we only need to prove ourselves 5% more than our competitors. And then we also really tie that into the five senses. Mm -hmm. um, so when you walk into one of our communities, the music is going to be appropriate for the demographic. It's going to be loud enough to create an energy, right? right? You're, you're going to have a smell. There will be a signature scent based on, again, the demographic, the area. If you walk into um, Edison at Rhino, which is a community right. that um, we manage, right, that's probably a little bit different scent than the Confluence, which is the tallest high rise in, in Colorado and, and um, you know, luxury living. And so we differentiate based on the sort of person who's living there. It's not just, okay, make sure there's a scent, make sure there's a sound. The playlists are different. Yeah. Um, you know, and then we're also appealing to textures, feels. So that goes into art and design, right? And so we carefully curate every piece of the building rather than just saying like, that piece of art works because it's within the right color palette. It's, well, was it locally sourced? What's the story? Does it add texture? Is there something that then um, really gives us that holistic view of how the community was named, branded, um, and how we're really selling it. And so we look at every single sense and piece and figure out how can we appeal to somebody, all five senses, right? And then um, they may leave not really recognizing mm. that we did that, right. but they will feel taken care of. Right. It's it's that feeling of, you know, there was something different there. I can't put my hands on it or I can't put my finger on it, um, but I, I liked being there.